channel if you're new here welcome to the family you've already subscribed to my channel and you're back here to watch my videos so i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for always coming back to watch my videos my name is jb and on my channel i post every wednesdays and fridays so every wednesdays and fridays you will be seeing my videos back to back back to back so you guys i posted a video a passport my experience and all that last week wednesday but i i had to delete it due to some personal reasons so i decided to do a new one but i left out some of my experience out okay so i'm going to let you know what you should um some of the questions you should expect and the things you should take along when you're going for your passport interview without wasting much of your time let's get straight into the video okay guys um so please let me see this you know whenever i'm outside vlogging definitely you hear some noise and all that because i'm outside so i'm sorry forgive me for the little let's get straight to it so when i was going i was really anxious for the wedding for the passport interview because i was like what questions i asked friends and were like oh it's just normal questions and mind you don't be afraid or don't be kind of kind of be anxious and all that but i have never heard that someone has been um be rejected for their visa maybe barely rejects passports okay they barely reject passport like oh this person they get um, the passport because of this or that or that no i've not heard some before they bail you you definitely get your passport so what questions would they ask you these are the questions they only ask questions from the birth from your forms okay you see when you fill online the questions you give them that's the same question they will ask you your mother's name your father's name your name where you where you are from basically that is it. that's that's some of the questions that you will be asked and it's not i think apart from that that's all so if you think that oh you're going to lie when you're filling the forms, maybe your age your mother's name or anything please then really learn it well because you will be asked okay that is the question you'll be asked and again um i had issues with the witness side my witness was not around so please when you're doing that make sure that your witness is around to sign and you also have to sign okay so note that as well i had a problem there because my witness was not around so when you're doing that make sure that you make sure that your witness is around so, um, another thing i'd like to talk about is it's drizzling so i want i want to make it fast so another thing i want to talk about is that please and please again when you are i made them I made that mistake and maybe you might also make the same mistake after um, filling the forms online i was supposed to print it out i didn't print it out and then i went to the passport office so i had to go and then print the forms out which really delayed me so please when you're done filling out the forms online kindly try as much as possible to print it out okay that is very very important and again please when you are going to the passport office make sure your hair is black if it's braids it should be if it's if it's braids it should be all black all right and please dress no i don't want to say this and please dress formal or facial okay that one too i think it kind of counts yeah because i'm saying the hair color because i had this i when when i was going in there was this girl that i met she had like brown braids on and one immigration officer asked her that are you coming for your passport picture and she said yes and he, he was like with his braids and she she was confused i don't know if later she was allowed inside because i saw her going back i don't know what happened next so please when you're coming if you're a lady make sure your hair is all black and then the final thing is and then the final thing is um the document you need to send along when you're going you don't even need to send i don't know why might be saying documents but uh, no it's not documents you need to send your ghana card is it a document no okay so one last thing guys please when you're going to the passport office make sure that you send your ghana card your ghana card and please send if you're going if you're still in school send your school id card okay if i mean if you're still in high school sorry if you are in um if you're in university okay if you're still in you are still schooling if you're in tertiary please go with your school id card and if you're working i think you need you need a letter yes a letter from where you're working i've forgotten they, they, have, they have a name for it so please make sure that that one too is part of the cards that you'll be sending to the passport office so we are sending our ghana card we are sending the i think an official letter from your workplace and then the third one will be your school id card if only you are still in school okay maybe you you've completed so you are not working 
please you have to go along with your school card i don't know for high school jesus and messages what they require but i think i'll do research on it and then let you know in the description box okay guys okay, thank you so much for watching to the end i hope you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe like comment share give this video a thumbs up okay and let's get to thousand subscribers before my birthday please <laughs> thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye and please wait 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 if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section okay i will answer the ones i don't know someone will see the comments and answer for you thank you bye